Hi guys! This is a review of Babies in Black by Arne Belsdorf. This is the graphic novel that chronicles the love story between Astrid Kircher and Stuart Sutcliffe, who is often called the fifth Beatle. To start off this review, I think it'd be easiest if I just read you the blurb on the back of the book. In 1960, an obscure but promising rock and roll band called the Beatles went on tour in Germany, hoping to catch their big break. It was there that Stuart Sutcliffe, the fifth Beatle, met the beautiful photographer Astrid Kircher. Their love altered history and changed Astrid's life forever. I picked this up about a month ago when I wanted to know everything about the Beatles, and let me just say, I knew absolutely nothing about them going into this book. I had never heard of Stuart Sutcliffe before, I had no idea where this story was gonna go, and this entire life the Beatles led in Germany before they hit it big. The story is more like a third-person narrative, but mostly it follows the life of Astrid, what happens when she meets the Beatles, and more importantly, what happens when she meets Stuart. Keep it short, the Beatles were in Hamburg, Germany. They played at like this kind of sketchy, underground-esque club. One night a friend takes Astrid to this club and she meets the Beatles, and she takes a few photos of them, and she forms this really deep connection with Stuart Sutcliffe, who is really an artist at heart, not a bassist. And they fall in love, and it's really the story of that and less about the early days of the Beatles, which I thought was really interesting. It's a lot of charcoal-looking drawings that are kind of rough, and all the characters have very interesting face shapes. I don't really know how to describe it. Somehow it gives me a 60s feel and feels kind of like an old comic book. I don't know, but I really like the way it's drawn and I really connected with the characters through this visual medium. This book also got me really interested in the arts of photography and painting, things that I've always kind of admired from a distance but never really experimented with, and I didn't necessarily learn a lot about them reading this book, but it made me more interested in those art forms and made me want to experiment with them a little more and just made me want to do lots of art things and <laughs> make lots of pretty, pretty art. I've been reading a lot of graphic novels so far this year, and it's really interesting to see how each graphic novel takes sort of a different form or works in a different way. Besides the art style and the narrator, there's something about this book which makes it a little different from other graphic novels I've read, but I can't exactly put my finger on what it is. That's a terrible way to put it because I'm not actually telling you anything, but there's just some kind of feeling that I got while reading this book that other graphic novels I've read this year haven't given me and I can't exactly explain what it is, and I probably should have f figured out what it is before I sat down to film this, but whatever. I've had some of my friends who are Beatles fanatics say they went into this book and they knew everything that was going to happen and they were kind of disappointed that it was more about Stuart and not the Beatles. So if you're so if you're really into the Beatles and know pretty much everything about their life and their history, you might not be interested in this book, but if you're like me and were interested in the band but didn't know a lot about their history, this is definitely a book for you. Even if you're not a major fan of the Beatles, I still think this is a great graphic novel to read because of the art and the storyline and the narrative form and that thing that I can't put my finger on that just drew me into this book and the string of emotion that is in this book that I can't exactly explain that made me want to keep reading. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll hopefully have another video for you guys up soon. I want to say a quick thank you to Tate Wolverson, who mentioned me in a video of his and said he really liked my videos and all the books I've reviewed he's put on his to-read list. That made me really happy. And I came to a bunch of subscribers because of him. So, so hi new subscribers. Uh, hi guys. Uh, it's nice to have you here. I'm really excited. So just thank you, Tate. That was super nice. You're super nice. I think you're great. And related to that, new people and old people, if there's anything you want to see me do on this channel, anything at all book-related or unbook-related, let me know in the comments below. Send me a message. Chat me up on Twitter or Tumblr because I would love to experiment with some new types of videos and some new video topics. So if you want to see something, let me know and I'll see if I can do it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.